Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Mosaic Football four box cello edition right here. So we got these four boxes right here. Those 48 cello packs we're about to do, ladies and gentlemen. So buckle up. This is break number three. There was an early bird special right here. If you were one of the first 10 to buy spots straight up, you've got a chance at the extra spot right there. The early bird gets the worm. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Richard Cromwell, congrats to you. You are the early bird that catches the worm. Richard Cromwell, that's, that sounds like royalty. All right, so let's get all of your names in here. Now, one spot gets you two teams. So we got to uh, double up, uh, uh. like Sir Mix a lot. So there's the double up right there. And now we can roll it and randomize it. Two and a one, three times for each list, for names and teams. Good luck. One, two, and three. Rich Cromwell says, I do feel royal sometimes. There's Ryan Redman down to Matt. A few Matt Liebers right there after three. All right, three and out for the teams. One, two, and three. Giants down to Titans after three. Oh, I don't need the IP address. They're not in this break. There you go. All right, Ryan with the Giants, Scott with the Falcons, Ryan with the Dolphins, Mark with the Texans, Mike with the Colts, Carl with my Raiders. There you go, Carl. Good to see you. Anthony with the Packers, Matt with the Cardinals, Richard Cromwell with the Niners, Kevin with the Seahawks, Mike with the Eagles, Matthew with the Patriots, Mark with the Chiefs, Mike with the Cowboys, Carl with the Steelers, Richard with your early bird spot, my rivals, the Denver Broncos, Matt with the Jets, Patrick with the Rams, Matt with the Bears, Lions, and Panthers, Kevin with the Jags, and Scott Blackwell with the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Patrick with the Bolts, Los Angeles Chargers, nice. Richard, your other uh, early bird spot, Baltimore Ravens. Matthew with the Bills, Anthony with the Browns, Mike with the Bucks, Richard with the Washington football team, and Matt with the last three, Saints, Vikings, and Titans. Let's put all this on one screen. Let's get all this sorted by column B. Let me know if you uh, wanna make any trades, ladies and gentlemen. We'll pause the video during this trade window. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no deals, there's a lot of trade chatter, but no deals were done. So that list remains the same here on a Wednesday, the 28th, four box, random team three. Thanks everybody, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are far too kind. Let's pop these open. Remember, we marked these RT, so we know that these mosaic cello pack boxes uh, are reserved for these RT breaks. Not that there's any case hits or anything like that, but I think more for our inventory. All right, so. Of course, the cellos for Mosaic have the uh, pink camos in them. We've got to open packs to rip packs. This does take a little, um, a minute or two. There's Jason. What's up, guys? Break schedules in the chat, folks, if you want to check that out. More packs to open up. Should we? Uh, what is? Who, what is? Who does everyone have for the? 
Uh, Falcons at Panthers. Straight up. Who does everyone have? We can talk about spreads later this week, but just straight up. I just want to get just your initial impressions. Falcons are at Panthers in the Thursday night game. The pool that you hear us talk about every week, folks, here at Jaspies. Um, Jason's Jason Jaspies' mom won again last week. Hmm. I think that's twice this year. But uh, but yeah, it's just all the games straight up. And then a, I think there's a Monday night football score tiebreaker. Is it only numbered cards that get shipped? I don't know. What does it say in the description? No, just vet commons are the only things that don't ship. Everything else does. I think the only, only veteran commons that do ship are Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. Sorry. Rich, I'll show you in just a second here. All right, here is box one. Nobody cares about Falcons, Panthers. Not No one's given opinions on that. All right, maybe the next box will move to a different game. So these guys don't ship. Right? That, it's an insert that will ship. That is Justin Herbert. He definitely ships. In fact, he gets the extra special treatment right here. So that ships. That's a Pro Bowl insert for Russell Wilson. That does ship. Darius Slayton doesn't ship. Richard Sherman doesn't ship. Matt Ryan doesn't ship. Cortland Sutton doesn't ship. This is an insert. This does ship. Jeff Okuda is a rookie. He does ship. And Justin Herbert is a special, so he gets the sleeve and the top load right away. This goes to the Chargers. That's going to be for Patrick. And this is a parallel of a rookie, so we'll sleeve that up too. That ships, of course. Brian Burns, green. These greens are not numbered, though. In fact, I don't think there's a lot of numbered cards in this set. That silver Vinatieri will ship. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of numbered cards in here unless we pull, like, like the fluorescent orange out of 25. So in this particular retail pack product, they're actually kind of rare. Like this, Jerome Bettis, one out of 15. Steelers, good thing Carl was standing on the Steelers. There you go. It's the fluorescent blue right there, Hall of Fame. Wow. And another one out of 15. And these aren't very common. That's old school Roger Staubach for Mike Grzynski and the Dallas Cowboys. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. There's there's Tom Brady. That goes to the Bucks. Mike Grzynski. There's Jeff Saturday. Kirk Cousins. Silver Jonathan Taylor. So, uh, mosaic pattern, LaVisca Schnault Jr. That'll be for the Jags. Kevin Madden with the Jaguars. Um, where did, where did and Jonathan Taylor goes to the Blue Horseshoes. Mike Krasinski. Although a white horseshoe there, blue horseshoe on their helmet. There's an NFL debut, Justin Herbert. Doesn't sell as well as his base, but still value here. He's having a great season, Patrick. There's Jonathan Taylor Green this time for the Colts for Mike.
How does everyone think two is going to do in his debut, ladies and gentlemen? There he is right there. NFL debut, Tua Tagovailoa for Ryan Redman and the Dolphins. Now, if he does well, that's hashtag good for the hobby, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we want to see. All right? Miami is playing, is not playing? No, Dolphins are hosting the Rams. Ooh, that's a tough matchup. What is, what is everyone's expectations? There's NFL debut Jalen Hurts. That's for the Eagles. Mike with that one. Rams, tough team. They, they, they terrorized Nick Foles all game in that Monday night matchup. Monday night matchup? Monday night matchup. Aaron Donald. The pass rush is kind of scary. They've got a... Rams have a good defense. Rosario is saying it's going to be rough with that D-line. It is. I mean, thankfully, Tua can move a little bit. I don't know. Does that? I don't know how. I mean, I'm sure there's there's pro football focused stats and next level reports on how the Rams do with with mobile quarterbacks. But they got they have to face the Seahawks twice a year and the Cardinals twice a year, so maybe they're used to that. They know how to scheme for that. They are going to the East Coast, though. I think they do okay on the East Coast, though. And obviously, Tua leading the Dolphins to a win would be excellent for the hobby. I just wanted to have a solid game. You know, let's let's see, let's see a couple hundred yards. You know, maybe 50, 60 yards rushing. Let's see two touchdowns, maybe an interception. Something like that. Don't get hurt, Tua. Avoid those big hits. All right. By the way, all of these will ship because these are all parallels. The pink camos are exclusive to this set. Those are all the rookies that we're pulling there. Maybe Justin Herbert, Tua, Joe Burrow. Mm, no. All right, maybe the next box. Three more to go, folks. Next mosaic box. Good luck. All right. So no one had any thoughts on the Falcons Panthers game. I'm going Falcons. That's a good pick. Bridgewater has been regressing a little bit. Falcons are 8-2 uh, and two against the spread versus Carolina in their last 10. And 8-2 and two straight up. Short week for the Falcons, but I think maybe new coach bump. I think they're, they're going to have a little bit of a new voice in that locker room should help them out. Yeah, Falcons and Julio are going to be too much. Yeah, I think Panthers look great the first couple games without Christian McCaffrey. You know, Mike Davis was very serviceable, but I think they've kind of ran into a bit of an issue. Without a strong running game, you know, Bridgewater's got to throw a little bit more than you want him to. And then Falcons still offensively are still, are still pretty great. He's not going to play on Thursday, bro. Come on. Come on, man. Are you going to risk him to play the Falcons? I don't think Christian McCaffrey plays this week. If so, do you? How much do you of an effect will he have on the game? What's what's his snap count? Ten.
10 touchdowns? <laughs> That'd be the record. That's easily the record for the running back, right? What's the rushing touchdown in a game record for running back? It's got to be like five. It can't be more than that. Christian McCaffrey, 10 rushing touchdowns. Chris McCaffrey, 500 yards, six touchdowns on 10 carries. On 10 carries. Snap count, 10. All right, what about Vikings at Packers? What does everyone have there? Vikings at Packers. Packers, what did the Packers do last week? They, they, won, they beat the Texans last week, I think. Vikings are. It's got to be Packers. That's Packers at home. They don't lose at home to the Vikings, right? Rosario says Packers. There you go. Brad's got it. In December twelfth against the Niners, Gail Sayers triumphed over muddy conditions, score his historic six touchdowns, four rushing, one receiving, and one returning, tying an NFL record. So four rushing. What's the, you think someone's had five maybe? What's the rushing touchdown record? Five straight up is the record, all right. <laughs> all right, Nick does say that. Quoting, uh, quoting Nick Jaspi, Sean Jaspi is saying, yeah, but Gail Sayers was playing against milkmen. You know, guys who, guys who were packing meat in the offseason. This is always the argument once, uh, when, uh, when boss man talks about like, oh, but guys like Gail Sayers back in the day. And Nick Jaspi, he's like, play, they're playing against milkmen. Zach Moss, Genesis. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Was that Genesis or was that just Phil Collins? Zach Moss, Genesis parallel, super short print right there. Buffalo, Matthew Shearer, Buffalo Bills. Wow, two references in one card. The Buffalo reference and and I can. Oh, that's just Phil. Then what, what's what's a good Genesis song? You can't hurry, love. No, you just have to wait. That's a cover song by Genesis. There's Steve McMichael, Scripps autograph for Da Bears. Matt Lieber with that one. Or is that just Phil too? There's Brandon Ayuk. Maybe I only know, maybe I just know uh, Phil Collins stuff and not Genesis stuff. There's two attack of Viola base. That goes to Miami, Ryan Redman. Invisible touch, is that your out of touch? No, that's Hall Notes. I don't think I know Genesis songs. Brandon Ayuk Green. Josh Jacobs Green. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Do 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 do. NFL debut to a tag of Viola making his NFL debut this week. I'm on the Rams though in that.
There you go, Mookie. Nice. Dig, dig, dig. Get there. Woo! It's Chase Claypool, man. He's been playing some great football, Carl. John Samson's here. In too deep. Land of Confusion. I don't know any of these Genesis songs. I think I only know Phil Collins songs. Maybe just that one Phil Collins song and that cover he did of the Supreme song. Do I know any Peter Gabriel songs? Or did Peter Gabriel do You Can't Hurry Love? Now I'm mixing, mixing up all those guys. There's Jalen Hurts, NFL debut, Silver for the Eagles, Mike G, and Jordan Love will go to the Packers, Anthony. Two more boxes to go. Oh, sorry. Not yet. Pink Camo parallels. I remember how to open packs. There we go. Invisible Touch had like five top ten hits in 1985. I don't know, but aren't, weren't those bands playing against Milkmen? Oh, yeah, I think I know that song. Take a look at me now. <laughs> there it is. Nailed it. No, I do have to create a new playlist. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll discover some Genesis. Get them, get them on the playlist. What did Peter Gabriel do? Why are they not friends? All right, pink camos. Justin Herbert pink camo. That's nice. So is that Justin Jefferson. This goes to Patrick Garcia and the Chargers. Nice one, Pat. There you go. Wild pitch. Nice. This razor just falling apart here. I think I kind of remember that Sledgehammer song. Didn't that have... Sledgehammer? Yeah, didn't that have like a wacky video too? I don't, that's before my time too. I barely know what a music video is. Justin Herbert, NFL debut, Pink Camel. Another one for Patrick Garcia. Oh yeah, Salisbury, but that's just Peter Gabriel solo, right? Salisbury Hill. Do 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 Which I feel like is in every like teenage romantic comedy movie or coming of age movie. In there. There you go, Betts. Woo! Dodgers up 2-1. And look at him run down the third base line. There you go, Betts. Beats the throw. It was a grounder to first. Beats the throw. Gets in there. Safe by a mile. Mm. Like, what, what are you talking about, John Samus? You were, you were just doing this to the Bulls game six in 1998, cheering like the game was live. No, this game is live. In his life. Yo. Yeah, what's up? Oh yeah? <laughs> I don't know. This is a t this is a tough game. I might take that bet. This could go to game seven. Rays are good. You got a thousand on you right now? <laughs> is that how you roll? Okay, I see.
Right? People watching this are going to think this is a rerun of a break from last night. I don't even know what day it is. I think I had the stream marked as Thursday for like a couple hours. Titans at Bengals. Titans win that one, right? I mean, I think the Bengals could get close. But I think the Titans are just playing really good football. Ooh. Oh, that's warning track power. Oh, my God. I had the same reaction as I did last night. <laughs> I was like, ooh, that sounded good. All right, uh, Jets, Chiefs, that's easy. Sean took the Jets. Sean, did you take the Jets? Is Sean even there? Sean's not there anymore. He didn't take, he took the Chiefs. Everyone took the Chiefs. What would have to, can you imagine the Jets beating the Chiefs at home? That would be wild. Somehow it just clicks. Just Sam Darnold just goes off, throws for 450 yards and five touchdowns. You know, Le Le'Veon Bell's playing double agent, secret agent, and is feeding chief secrets to the Jets. So they, they know all the offensive calls. Oh, man. That'd be the only way. Colts Lions? Who does everyone have for Colts Lions? Colts off a bye, I believe. Going to Detroit. Stafford can still sling it. I think the Lions are actually playing kind of decent, semi decent football lately. But I feel like Frank Reich's a pretty good coach. And he's one of the better coaches off the uh, off the bye. Not Andy Reid level, but but he's up there. Ooh. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. There's Jeff Saturday, Genesis. Parallel. I know it's a Phil Collins, so I mean, we're just going to have to make that stretch, folks. Phil Collins was in Genesis. That's a Genesis parallel. That's Jeff Saturday for the Blue Horseshoes. That goes to Mike Wisinski. Super short print. We got Zach Moss, Silver. Isaiah Simmons Green. Uh, Isaiah Simmons for the Cardinals, Matt. And uh, Zach Moss going to Buffalo. That goes to Matthew. Matthew S. All those Brady's will go to uh, Tampa Bay. That'll be for Mike. No, I did not. I think it was choice box. What choice? Choice what? Woo! 
Choice hoops. Look at the second one. Show it off really quick. This is out of one. In one box. One box. Zion Tiger, LeBron Red Scope to eighty-eight, and a Mufondo autograph. To eight. It's a local too. Gonna come pick it up. Seven out of eight, and a local buyer. Nice. Yeah, come here right away. <laughs> pick these up ASAP. Nice. Personal breaks at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram Live only. At Jaspie's Breaks. Jason with hot hands today, folks. There's Kevin King, 13 out of 15. King me. Going to the Green Bay Packers, Anthony. Fluorescent blue. We had a few of those in this break. We'll do a recap at the end. It's pretty nice. Nice low numbering. We got a Justin Herbert right here. Old Herbie. Herbie the love bug. Bolts, that's going to be for Patrick Garcia and an autograph. Ooh, Nick Chubb. Cleveland Browns, that's going to go to Anthony as well. Back to back. Without Odell Beckham Jr., would you think Nick Chubb maybe gets a little more work? I spread that offense around somehow. A.J. Dillon, NFL debut. Anthony and the Packers. Justin Herbert for Patrick, NFL debut. What about, okay, here's a good game that people should want to talk. Steelers at Ravens. Who does everyone have there? Steelers at Ravens. The big AFC North matchup. Steelers looking pretty good this year, right? Big Ben looks healthy. The defense, I feel like it's been banged up here and there, but they seem to be resilient. Chase Claypool breaking out. Chase Claypool getting like double team last week. No worries. Juju Smith-Schuster will do work. I don't know. What do you think? But then on the other side, Purple Birds is scary. Lamar Jackson can just go off at any time. Got, no one's got anybody in that. So there he is right there. Along with his teammate, that, that guy. But then they got, then the CEO's got that guy. There are your pink camos right there. All right, last box about to come up. Break schedule's in the chat, folks. I think that we got a quick little two-box contenders optic basketball break coming up. Right, there you go, AJ Pollock. Good grab. Ooh, Julio Urias warming up. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. No, no one has thoughts on the Steelers, Ravens. What about Rams, Dolphins? I think I said Rams, but I want two to have a good day. That's good for the hobby. Patriots at Bills. Could the Patriots lose, what, a fourth game in a row? Third or fourth? Third, fourth, I think. I think we were talking about this earlier. Fourth game in a row? I don't know. When's the, when's the last time that's happened to a Belichick team? 
I'll bet it's been a long time. actually happen. I think the Patriots might lose a fourth game in a row. Although the Bills haven't really, they started the season looking great. They've, they've cooled off a little bit too, grinding out a win last week. Raider, my Raiders at the Browns. Browns don't have Odell Beckham Jr. They, they, they've got a, they've been playing some good football lately. I think after really the that Steelers that Brown Steelers game was really the only kind of blip, their bad blip in their five and two record. Five and two. That AFC North is looking dangerous. F six and zero Steelers, five and one Ravens, five and two Browns. For the purposes of uh, of my pool, I'm definitely taking uh, the Raiders. <laughs> As long as their whole entire offense and line doesn't get on the COVID list, get out of there. I think they would have been a little more competitive against the Buccaneers if that offense and line got a little bit of practice that week. I wonder if that helps them next. They're a little extra, a little no practice, a little rested next week. I don't know. All right. Larry Fitzgerald, silver. Jalen Hurts, NFL debut. NFL debut green, Chase Young. James Morgan. Jets, Matt. Matt K with that one. Mike Williams Green. Michael Pittman Jr. Silver. And an NFL debut mosaic pattern to a tag of Viola. So the Pittman Jr. goes to the Blue Horseshoes, Mike G. And for the Finns, Ryan Redman with the Dolphins gets the NFL debut to a tag of Viola in the mosaic pattern. Nice. And I was just going to say, let's find some Joe Burrow. Let's balance it out a little bit. Scott Blackwell, I think this is our first Joe Burrow. NFL debut version. Maybe we'll see a few more before this break is out, or maybe a pink camo. I think that's just top loader dust right there. Dan the man.
And Clyde Edwards Elaire. I think that's our first Clyde Edwards Elaire. That'll be for Mark Nation and the Chiefs. There's an NFL debut, Clyde Edwards Elaire. Another one for Mark Nation. There you go. Sit down, Yandy Diaz. Go Dodgers. Bonus packs, the pink camos. Last bit here. Good luck, everyone. What about Chargers at Broncos? Anyone have any thoughts there? Chargers going into mile high. Broncos been playing some competitive football. I think they they think they pip a win here. Saints at Bears. Saints on the road to the Bears. Bears exposed a little bit by by the Rams. Their last game, I think. I think the. I don't, know if, I don't know if the Saints cover, but I think they definitely edge out a win. Niners at Seahawks. Niners playing good football too, in spite of all their injuries. But the Seahawks are coming off a loss, and they're going home. I don't think they're happy about that loss. They have another divisional opponent. I think they'll. I think this is going to be another close one for the Seahawks. I think the Niners might cover, but I think Seahawks win it. Cowboys at Eagles, got to be Eagles. Cowboys are a mess. A lot of lot of injuries and maybe some unrest in the in the locker room. Bucks at Giants. Did I pick Giants? Giants. I don't know why. Why did I pick the Giants? Maybe I, I don't know. Sometimes in these pools, you kind of have to go oppo a little bit. And maybe have a, a oppo public pick and hope that hits and that might that might win you the pool. All right, so nothing significant here in terms of the top quarterbacks, but a lot of great stuff, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another four-box cello break in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here's a quick little recap right here of what we pulled here. Obviously, since it's a retail product, we're looking mostly for base cards, uh, super short prints, and other parallels. Like those Herberts were nice, the Tuas and whatnot. Wish there were more Burrows and Clyde edwards Lairs, but maybe next time. We'll get them next time, folks. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Go Dodgers. 2-1 right now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.